Initially, I said, listen, you're going to need to go back in the kitchen and make me a sandwich. I'm listening to, to <laughs> the game right now. Came back. I got a Tim Couch jersey, and I was rocking Tim Couch. I still love drinks in the second floor bathroom. It didn't go very well, but I tried. <laughs> I'm, I'm pro democracy, uh, but uh, if, we, if we don't do it again, if I don't do it again this year, um, it's going to be a. Uh, it's going to feel weird. So yeah, fuck it. Fifty thousand hour cap. Tore my ACL one year, and I watched. But if both teams have the opportunity to do something, and the other team's just not. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey know how to keep the spark intact. And when everything else fails, they sneak to a romantic getaway. And this time, they've chosen Rhode Island. Who would have guessed? Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey had an amazing star-studded weekend in Rhode Island. But there is something even more eye-opening than that. It turns out, while they were busy hosting all those A-listers, Taylor also found some time to have a little fun with Travis in a different way. Blake Lively is celebrating her 37th birthday here at Taylor Swift's eight bedroom mansion in Rhode Island with a bunch of celebrities. Taylor, who just finished her European leg of her tour, was seen with her boyfriend Travis at her location in Rhode Island. So she was photographed first and soon after Ryan and Blake were spotted. Then we had some pictures coming out of Travis's brother, Jason and his wife. Patrick Mahomes and his wife are also apparently there. They were spotted on a patio with Travis and Taylor. And even Bradley Cooper is in attendance with his young daughter. Ryan and Blake were even spotted sharing a kiss outside the $17 million home. Picture this. Amidst all the celeb buzz and beachside relaxation, Taylor kept playfully distracting Travis while he was trying to record his podcast. From spontaneous sing-alongs to sneaky interruptions, she made sure their getaway was full of laughs. And for the first time in ever, those private details have been made public, which is why we're here today. So are you ready to dive into all the moments Taylor hilariously derailed Travis's podcast sessions during their Rhode Island vacation? Taylor and Travis reunited over the weekend of August 23rd, and they weren't alone. They had quite the crew with them, including Blake Lively, Ryan Reynolds, Jason and Kylie Kelsey, Patrick and Brittany Mahomes, and Bradley Cooper. Rumor has it that Gigi Hadid might have been there too, though that's still up in the air. This weekend marked the first time Taylor and Travis have been seen together since he attended her show in Germany last month. Before their Rhode Island escape, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey were all over the map literally and figuratively. Taylor wrapped up the European leg of her heiress tour with stops in Germany, and Travis was right there by her side. He wasn't just a casual attendee, he was deeply involved, from dancing along to her hits in the VIP suites to offering her a shoulder to lean on as she wrapped up her shows. Just after Taylor's performance in Gelsenkirchen, Germany, the couple was spotted leaving the venue together. <laughs> Travis had been enjoying the show from a high up suite, filming Taylor and even mimicking her dance moves. The Kansas City Chiefs tight end joked on his podcast about his frequent concert appearances, saying, I've seen the show so many times at this point, I'll find myself in the crowd doing the choreography. He wasn't really joking, was he? <laughs> looks like they've picked up right where they left off, spending some quality time together amidst all the fun. Now, we are no strangers to this duo planning random getaways, but why the whole crew? What was the occasion? Well, Blake Lively just celebrated her 37th birthday. And where better to throw a celeb-studded bash than at Taylor Swift's $17 million Rhode Island beach mansion? After all, Taylor knows how to host in style. TMZ snagged some early shots of Taylor and Travis chilling at the mansion on Saturday. It looked like they were just enjoying a cozy weekend, but nope. They were gearing up for a full-on celebrity invasion. Blake, the birthday girl herself, rolled up later with Ryan Reynolds, her hubby. The two were spotted sharing a kiss on one of the many sun-soaked decks. Seriously, who wouldn't want to spend their birthday like this? But wait, there's more. Travis' brother, Jason Kelsey, flew in too, bringing some major brotherly vibes to the party. <laughs> Guess who else showed up? Bradley Cooper. 
<laughs> He's super tight with both Taylor and Jason, so it's like a mini Philly reunion happening in Rhode Island. Patrick Mahomes and his wife Brittany were also spotted mingling at the shindig. It seems like this was the perfect weekend for everyone to unwind. Blake's been dealing with some drama on the set of It Ends With Us, so a little beachside R&R was just what the doctor ordered. For those who aren't aware what drama we are referring to, Blake Lively's been at the center of some serious controversy lately, and it's all tied up with the movie adaptation of Colleen Hoover's best-selling novel, It Ends With Us. Rumors of a feud between Blake and Justin really took off when fans noticed they weren't spotted together at the film's premiere in New York. To add fuel to the fire, Baldoni was noticeably absent from the photos and interviews with the cast. Social media went wild, noting that Blake wasn't following Justin on Instagram anymore, while he still followed her and the rest of the cast. The speculation grew when Baldoni hired a crisis PR manager, which many took as a sign that things weren't all sunshine and rainbows behind the scenes. Justin Baldoni, the director and star of the adaptation of the hit novel It Ends With Us, has hired Johnny Depp's PR crisis manager amid rumors of a feud with co-star Blake Lively. The buzz intensified when Blake and Justin seemed to go their separate ways during the promotional tour. Blake was seen at various premieres in London and Copenhagen, but Justin was handling press solo in New York. Was it just creative differences, or was there something more going on? And why were they dodging each other on social media? Blake's husband, Ryan Reynolds, who was involved in crafting the film's iconic rooftop scene came into the picture too. He worked closely with Blake on the script, adding his own creative touch. This only added another layer to the intrigue, as it was clear the lively Reynolds duo had a strong hand in the film's final cut. And speaking of high-profile getaways, Blake might have needed a breather from all this drama. Enter Taylor Swift, who swooped in with a perfectly timed Rhode Island escape. As it turns out, Taylor's beach house became the ultimate escape for Blake, offering her a serene getaway. Taylor's lavish birthday bash for Blake hosted at her $17 million Rhode Island mansion wasn't just a birthday celebration, it was a retreat from the media frenzy. While Taylor was busy hosting an A-list party with Travis Kelsey and other celebrity friends, Blake was soaking up the tranquility and support from her close friend. The Rhode Island retreat offered Blake a much needed break from the intense scrutiny surrounding the film and the supposed rift with Justin Baldoni. Sometimes a luxurious escape with your bestie is exactly what you need to hit reset and recharge, especially when you're in the middle of such a public storm. But are we really surprised? Blake and Taylor go way back, like 2015 back, and Blake's been a regular at Taylor's concerts ever since. Plus, their friendship goes deep. I gotta go with Taylor. I mean, come on, the world needs more Taylor. Taylor even had Blake and Ryan's kids make cameos in her music. Remember the little voice on Gorgeous? That was their daughter, James. And if you've listened to Folklore, you'll recognize the names James, Inez, and Betty. Yep, all inspired by their kiddos. Now for the inside scoop, sources say Taylor and Travis are super happy together. It's funny because at first their friends were like, what do these two even have in common? But it turns out they're really similar. They both wear their hearts on their sleeves and go all in with everything they do, whether it's their careers, family, or friends. Now, a quick peek at Taylor's schedule. She's got the rest of August and all of September off before the Iris tour kicks off again on October 18th in Miami. From there, she'll be hitting New Orleans, Indianapolis, and then wrapping things up in Canada with shows in Toronto and Vancouver. As for how she's planning to spend this downtime, it seems like she'll be hanging out a lot in Kansas City with Travis. Word on the street is that Taylor's been having a blast decorating Travis's new mansion there. According to insiders, she's enjoying the simple pleasures of just being together, with the chief set to return for training camp later in the month, Travis's availability might become limited. As their schedules become increasingly demanding, it is clear the duo might not be able to take such breaks in future, but then you never know when it comes to these two. If Taylor can manage the back and forth traveling between her Eras tour and Travis can run between his NFL games to go see Taylor in her concerts, they might just make the impossible possible. Even with all these questions answered, we're left with plenty to ponder. What did you think of Taylor's star-studded birthday bash? Do you think Blake's getaway with Taylor was the perfect 
perfect way to escape the drama? Or should she have handled the situation differently? And with Taylor and Travis Kelsey's relationship making waves, how do you feel about their public outings and their impact on Taylor's downtime? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you don't want to miss out on the hottest celebrity news, make sure to subscribe to Pop Plug. And if you want to know, what was Taylor's confession? After the Mahomes baby news, watch this next video.